Welcome back to my corner of the internet, guys. I am the Lucid Dream, and today we have some fantastic news coming to us out of Spokane, Washington. First and foremost, though, thank you to all of my channel members and subscribers. If you are new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I would certainly appreciate it. And every time you do, somewhere out there, an itty bitty fraudator cries. It happens. For now, let's take a look at Hoyt Webb, Kootenai County Press. If he dies, I will be at every court. I will still be at every court while this is going on. Know that I am here. Burn my face into your brain. I'm not going anywhere. Was well, the voice of Eric Kessler off camera addressing the man that police believe shot his brother during a live stream this past Friday night. You see the accused gunman here, 36-year-old Hoyt Webb, facing a charge of assault tonight. But as Kessler says, if the victim dies, the charges become more severe. Per court documents, just before the shooting on Friday, Webb was in Spokane live streaming what he called the city's homeless crisis. Hoyt runs a website called Kootenai County Press, and throughout his live stream, which was posted to a public YouTube page, Webb repeatedly said he was a member of the media. Here's a couple of clips from the Kootenai County Press YouTube page to give you a little bit of a refresher on who Hoyt Webb really is. That smile, you're on camera. Ditto. Y'all are on camera as well. Go ahead and smile. It's like a bunch of expensive stuff. Interesting. Yeah, we do, yeah. Indoor showroom open now. If you have any questions, call 208-230-9679, Coeur d'Alene Marine Sports, for all your marine sports needs. Are you hoping, Bill? Are you trying to go for the same beer, uh, beard as Joe Dirt? What's up, buddy? No. Uh, give me, give me some space. What are you doing here? I'm standing on a public sidewalk, being harassed by two buffoons. What are you doing? Really? Yeah, man, that's not a good idea in this. In this yeah, it's not a good area. idea to come up with people you don't know and harass them on a public sidewalk. This well, is when a, they're videoing my property. It doesn't matter. Put some curtains up if you don't like it. Really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you got to lean on the property, so it's not your property. It belongs to the bank. You make payments to them. Still my property. Yeah, it's the bank's property. You're just renting it from them, so to speak. But like but say my property if it makes me feel good. But uh, why don't you go so focus on your property then? My property, so uh, yeah, I do feel better. Man, you're just looking. You're just talking. Got the wrong. got the Joe Dirt hair face going on. I nice. I don't fucking talk to you sort of people. You can't wait to see his face because they're about to say, uh, "There's nothing you can do." I'm going to get the 911 phone call too, buddy, so it's called a record request. So make sure you don't lie on there because I'm a reporter. Interesting. Yeah, that was crazy. We just uh, went for a stroll around the block and got harassed by people. Wow, that's crazy, dude. <laughs> and then let's get this person's license plate number. <laughs> Look at this guy stalking us. I'm in fear for my life right now. Stop stalking me. That's the fifth time you came around. I only just drove by once. That's the, the fifth the time you came around. The police are on their way, sir. This is the fifth time you came around. I'm in fear for my life. Leave me alone. Help! You're Help! You're Help! This guy here is holding me hostage. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's help! This guy won't leave me alone. You're look at this guy. Look at this guy. That's crazy, dude. Wow, the guy had a gun. Did you see that? That was an armed gunman. Just came out of an unhinged man. Obviously, that's the guy who works up there at the uh, boat dealership. So if anybody knows yeah, his dude. name, because I am pressing charges, I told him how many times to leave me alone. I said, how many times? Leave me alone. And then he pulled out a freaking gun. 
pulled out a gun on me? Are you kidding me when I'm doing something legal and lawful? Something protected under the Constitution? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. No, we're getting a 911 phone call. We're getting everything. So for those of you who don't know, Hoyt Webb has been sitting in jail since June 7th, the day that he shot Thomas Hatch while he was live streaming to his Kootenai County Press YouTube page. Just like in the clip that we just saw with the gentleman in the car, Hoyt claimed that it was self-defense, that other people had weapons, but conveniently enough, none of these weapons ever appeared on video, and he was videoing everything. He was a man that was looking to do someone harm that day. He intentionally went back to his car, claiming, I'm Second Amendment, bitches, while getting his gun. This was not self-defense, and I am so glad the courts were able to see that. I really hope they used his videos as evidence against him. I really do. Because if they went through his videos, that was a slam dunk. And I think he knew that. I think he knew there was no way he was getting out of this without a conviction. So he took a plea. Some new information emerging tonight on a case we've been following out of Spokane involving an activist and a man suffering from homelessness that led to a shot being fired. Hoyt Webb, the man accused of shooting another man while on live stream, did plead guilty in court today. Now, top local Ainsley Anderson was in the courtroom at the sentencing this morning and spoke with the victim's brother. Good evening, Ainsley. Sean, yeah, Hoyt Webb pled guilty to the Class B felony this morning and is now facing 39 months in jail. Also at the sentencing this morning was the victim's brother. He could have grown up. Normal people would. I don't know what else to say. I can't even look at it. It's hard. Eric Kessler is the brother of Thomas Hatch, the man who was shot on live stream earlier this year. He was present at the sentencing this morning, awaiting the ruling. Yeah. Prosecutors say Webb was pretending to be a member of the press while walking near Division and Short in downtown Spokane. Yes, Your Honor. While live streaming to YouTube. Witnesses say he was heckling people on the street. Yeah. When he shot Hatch, Webb claimed he was acting out of self-defense. Charging you with second degree assault. What is your plea today? I plead guilty, Your Honor. Despite pleading guilty, Webb stuck with that defense. Judge Dean Chuang listened, but sentenced him to over three years in jail. The victim's brother, though, not satisfied, because Hatch lost a kidney and half of his bowels, along with damage to one of his coronary arteries. I still don't believe what he got was fair. On top of the three-year sentence, Hoyt Hoyt Webb is also facing 18 months of community custody, as well as a 10-year no-contact order with the victim. Live in Spokane, I'm Ainsley Anderson, Nonstop Local. So while I agree with the victim's brother, I don't believe this was a harsh enough sentence for the crime. There are some silver linings. Number one, he is now a felon. He can never own a firearm again, let alone a concealed carry. Number two, he's got a 10-year restraining order against him. He can never go to downtown Spokane, Washington again because Thomas Hatch is homeless and stays in downtown Spokane, Washington. And we all know that was his favorite place to go, quote unquote, audit, was to go harass the homeless people in downtown Spokane. His YouTube channel is effectively dead. Between 39 months jail and the 18 months of post-release supervision, his auditing career is over. Now, whether he continues to harass people in real life, I'm sure he will. He is a vile human being. The fact that his parents didn't bother to try and bail him out of jail all of these months is kind of a testament to that. How big of a piece of human trash do you have to be for your parents to leave you in jail for six months? Pretty big. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm going to call this a win for the good guys today. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what else you would like to see, and I will catch you on the next one.